our I team continues to look into the problems in White Clay, Nebraska. The unincorporated village has four beer stores that sell three and a half million cans a year. Well, new tonight, increased efforts and pressure to find solutions to what some lawmakers call a public health emergency. KTV News Watch Evans Andrew Ozaki has our story. Uh, it's a little bit more shocking when you see it in person. State Senators uh, Brett Lindstrom, Roy Baker, and Tanya Cook joined Patty Panzing Brooks walking through the streets of White Clay, Nebraska. Three and a half million cans of beer are sold here a year. Most to residents from the nearby Pine Ridge Reservation where alcohol is banned. Depression is the main reason why we drink. A similar tour in May prompted Panzing Brooks to enlist others to come up with a multifaceted approach to address the problems here. We have a bipartisan group that's looking at this. We have a lot of common ground with a lot of people. I feel like there's great momentum right now. The lawmakers are calling for the condemnation and removal of abandoned buildings, creation of a drug and alcohol treatment center combined with a job training center, expansion of economic development in the area, and for a state patrol substation located in White Clay with increased trooper presence to enforce the laws. On Tuesday morning, just a day before the senators came to White Clay, two people were cut with a knife during a fight. A 23-year-old female is under arrest in that case, but so far no one in custody in the death of 50-year-old Sherry Woundedfoot. Activists say she was beaten behind one of the buildings here in August. She died five days later. Whenever there's fights there, our tribal cops have to come. Residents from the Pine Ridge Reservation voice frustration. Nebraska doesn't address the problems it creates on its side of the border. People are hurt up here. They need to send ambulances and take them over there because this is their county. While the senators feel the four beer stores are predatory, at this time they are not specifically calling for their closure. Um, you know, folks, if they really wanted to get beer or alcohol, they could go to Shadron or they could go down the road to Rushville. This is a Nebraska problem. Activists like John Meish and Frank Lemire say stopping the beer sales needs to happen first. Nora Basum agrees. What's happening here is genocide of an entire race. We told you about the adoptive mom in June and showed you the seizures her five-year-old daughter Ariana goes through. She, as does one out of every four kids born on the Pine Ridge Reservation, suffer from alcohol fetal syndrome. I still dream that the stores will be shut down, um, that that'll be step one of the process. Basim and others are appreciative of the focus on the issue and the steps taken, like the University of Nebraska Medical Center coming to the area on what the vice chancellor calls an information finding trip, job opportunities at the new 60-bed tribal nursing home, and Viero Wireless putting up this new cell tower. It will provide broadband wireless to White Clay and into the reservation. So that people can access uh, law enforcement, they can access uh, telehealth, they can access distance learning. Pansing Brooks says she understands the frustration from those who want to see beer sales stopped immediately, but believes it's more than just one issue that everyone needs to work on. And do whatever we can from whatever skill set we bring to the table and, and work to heal white clay. In white clay, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.